Okay, so tag match. Uh, this is how you do tag matches right here. Confirm, three count, FMW, town hall. Up off, cut play off, medium, next. Alright, so we're gonna have, uh, who's in here? Akira Maeda, Kazuyuki Fujita. Uh, anybody in here? FMW did start off as like a mixed wrestling. They'd have uh, martial arts matches, and they'd have a women's match, and then they'd have like a a death match. So there might be some. Uh, let's see, Giant Silva. Nope, nobody. Well, Masakatsu Funaki. He's a uh, he's a former triple up uh, triple crown champion in all Japan. Minoru Suzuki, holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use him. Yoshika Takahashi, okay. Alright, so we're gonna have ourselves a tag match here. Uh, let's have some Americans in this match. How about that? America! It's gonna be, uh, alright, so we're gonna do. I love this so much. I love FMW. So this is like an absolute treat for me. We're gonna do Daisuke Ikeda. Uh, he was a teammate of Hayabusa. They won the FMW Brass Knuckles Tag Team Titles in 1997. Uh, they beat. Oh, who did they beat? I want to say Kentaro Kanemura and Ganasuke in a tournament uh, league tournament final. So it's gonna be uh. Daisuke Akeda and Yuki Ishikawa representing Battle Arts against uh let's do Mr. Pogo. Uh let's have him take on Ooh, there's so many people. My goodness. Jintaro. And... Where is he at? Grand Nani... Well, you know what? He passed away, so that's kind of weird beating up a dead guy. Uh, <clears throat> well, then half the... Some people of FMW are passed away, too, so... I can't really worry about that. Uh, let's have him against Ryoto Chikuzen from uh, Kaintai Dojo. So Daisuke Ikeda and Yuki Ishikawa representing Battle Arts taking on Jintaro and Ryoto Ryota Chikuzen. So one fall, 30 minute time limit. Poontang. All right, here we go. Wait. Ring the bell. All right, uh, Ikeda is a shooter. He does lots of MMA style wrestling, but it's not to the point where it's annoying like Davy Richards. Like he, he, they know how to do it. Come on! Oh yeah, there you go. Jintaro is a former, uh, multiple-time WEW Tag Team Champion with uh, his partner Takashi Sasaki uh, they're called the Arc Arrangers uh, in DDT uh, they moved to WEW uh, and then Big Japan uh, Jintaro is currently wrestles well he's actually injured right now because he had a, a stroke he took a disgusting ass bump uh, he was on the top turnbuckle and he s slipped and he landed on the floor and cracked his head something went right and he ended up having a stroke uh, so not too long ago they had a uh, ankle hold here or Achilles didn't hold they had a uh, kind of like a fundraiser for him where everybody got together and had a couple matches with him with, uh, you know, for him and he uh, 
He's okay now. He's recovering, but he's just kind of apprehensive about getting back in the ring, which kind of sucks because he's really good. He doesn't get uh, Takashi Sasaki got more of the uh, the press because he ended up doing death matches for Big Japan, so he didn't get that that you know that oh shit he didn't get the press uh, Sasaki did. And here we go. Here's Yuki Ishikawa. Uh, he's the founder of Battle Arts. He, he's a uh, uh, well, as you can see, he just beats the shit out of you, and then slaps you in a choke sleeper, and you're done for. Come on, Shigozen did not last long in pro wrestling. He was there for a little while. Uh, he was a member of the. Uh, the Makai Machines in New Japan about 2005, which was like the heel invader group. A uh, bunch of people were under mask, and like it was people they knew. And the New Japan wrestlers were like, "Well, wait a second. He's like, there's something familiar about this guy. I can't place it, but I know him." And well, it ended up being Ryuto Chikuzen, who was trained by Kaintai, so everybody knew him. Crap, and he's coming back with the headbutts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Big punch. If I try hard enough, I could probably bust him open. Which, in the Battle Arts matches, there's usually lots of blood because they will just stiff the shit out of each other. And make you humble. I break your back and make you humble. gonna go on here. DDT. Big DDT. I don't even know how to pin with Ikeda. I said on my other videos uh, everybody has a different button to pin. So what may be X for one guy might be a leg drop for another guy. So sometimes it's uh, kind of a pain in the ass to figure out oh shit straight up brain buster there. See that would have been perfect to go for. There we go. It's X in the middle of the body. Sometimes it's X by the legs. Sometimes it's circle. Like with Gato, it was circle. Uh, by the head. Which is weird. Alright, this match isn't as amazing as the other two were, but... Oh, Choke Sleeper! He's done! Maybe. Oh shit, he, he might be done. He's going, oh no, he got out of it. Yeah, you better make the tag, Jintaro. It's been Chukazen for a while. What are you dying about? Oh shit, we got blood. He hit a gusher. Cross arm breaker. Nobody in WWE knows how to properly apply a cross arm breaker. You're supposed to lock his elbow with your knees. And in WWE, they just put it on and it's all loose looking and shit. Like, Del Rio knows what he's doing, but because he doesn't want to hurt anybody, he's got to be all pussyish with it. Like, if he wanted to, he could fucking rip, like, Monday night, he could have ripped Jack Swagger's arm right out of the socket if he tried to. Because, uh, Del Rio's done MMA fights before in Pride. Of course, he got knocked the fuck out every single time he was in one, I think, but, uh... Hey, he tried. That's more than anybody else can say in WWE. Oh! Big elbow. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, crap! I tried for an MMA move, and he got me. Oh, he's choking me out! He's choking me out! Ow! Okay. Whew. Holy shit! See, that's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. You wouldn't see that shit on WWE 13. You could reverse the move into something that awesome. Half crab. Come on. Tap, you little bitch. Oh, he's not going to do it. Come on. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go tag. And we'll see Takashi Sasaki later on in action. He'll be taking on Mammoth Sasaki. Straight up knee lifts. Go for the pin. One, two, three. Oh, knuckin' futs, man. Come on, I thought that was it. But in the star! One, two. Ah, oh, knuckin' futs. 
Oh shit, super kick. Oh, Death Valley Bomb! That's one of his big finishers. One, two, three. And it was one of one of his finishers worked. Beautiful. That match picked up, I gotta say. Dragon Suplex, yep, you're done. Alright, so we might have a feud right now between uh, Jintaro and Daisuke Akeda. That would be kind of fun. Alright, so, 13 minutes. 10 seconds, Death Valley Bomb puts down Jintaro. Team Battle Arts is successful. And when I have the tournament for the uh, Brass Knuckles Tag Team Titles, that'll be one of the maybe a, a team I'll be thinking about doing all right so back to singles action here we're gonna do uh, another match here and we're gonna do uh, you know they used a lot of guys from Mexico too but there's just really no good Mexican guys on here except for Super Colo and maybe the Laredo Kid Superfly these guys right here are pretty good uh, Alan Judas Macias, maybe? He'd be a good guy for the uh, Brass Knuckles title. Escoria, Oz, El Cuervo, and Zombido, Degnus. Bella Boy, Baby Apache, Mr. Condor, Aniel Mortal, Galigo, Mary Apache, Fabi. Why do I have those on there twice? Cassandro, the tranny, um, or transsexual. I shouldn't say tranny. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have. Let's do. I'm trying to find a guy who would be perfect for FMW. A lot of these strong style US guys would be perfect. But we're gonna do. Uh, oh, there's so many here. All these US indie guys. If you look at these US indie guys now and then look at them like when this game came out, uh, they look so different now. We're gonna do. Look at look at Sammy Callahan. Sammy Callahan don't even wear tights like that no more. Ethan Page. Holy shit, Ethan Page. Alright, Ethan Page. I got. I love Ethan Page. AIW wrestler uh, from Canada. We're going to put him up against... Uh, put him up against... Oh... Katoro Suzuki. Not Kontoro, whoever labeled that, whoever did this pack. Didn't do it too good. All right, Ethan Page taking on Katoro Suzuki. Uh, FMW would bring in a lot of uh, indie guys and give them a shot. Uh, a lot of XPW guys, ECW guys. Uh, American Dragon, Brian Danielson, or Daniel Bryan, made his first Japanese tour uh, in 2001, in November of 2001. Uh, him and Lance Cade teamed up against Mammoth Sasaki and uh, Nahiro Hoshikawa. Uh, who unfortunately retired because of a serious eye injury and now he is a he's a chiropractor he retired and became a chiropractor so that's pretty cool uh, Katoro Suzuki uh, recently jumped with uh, the rest of Burning Jun Akiyama Yoshinobu Kanemura uh, Genba Hiryanagi and uh, that's a Goshiyazaki and go, uh, well, if not, there go Shiozaki jumped to. Uh, jumped to All Japan. And uh, right now, they just had a match for the All Asia tag titles against the Junior All Stars of Koji Kanemoto and Minoru Tanaka. So, there you go. A little trivia for you folks. I try to keep the videos interesting. Like, I don't know a ton about Japanese wrestling, but I know a, a good amount. Boss Man Slam! Boss Man Slam! Oh shit! Dude, jack my fucking jaw with that jump and spin kick. Better take a breath. 
Uh, also, FMW was not afraid to put the title belt on foreigners. Uh, the Island Boys, Fatu, and Rosie were the WEW Hardcore Tag Team Champions. Uh, Supreme and Homeless Jimmy from uh, XPW were the Tag Team Champions for about two tours. Um, Terry Funk, of course, was a Tag Team Champion with Mr. Pogo. Uh, Mike Awesome was their Heavyweight Champion, Tag Team Champion, Six Man Street Fight Champion. He held every belt except for the junior title. Um, so yeah, they're one of the only... Like, New Japan, for some reason, is like scared to put the main, their heavyweight title on a foreigner because of what happened with Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle and TNA. So, you know, they're, they'll give the foreigners the junior titles and the tag titles, but nothing else. So, kind of sucks, but... It happens. At least there's, you know, at least there's a chance they get that. Going to the outside here. First time I've been to the outside in any of my Fire Pro videos. He counts fast, depending on who you get. Come on, pal. I got a power bomb to the floor waiting on you. Yes, you can choke slam, power bomb, DDT, body slam, suplex, all that fun stuff to the floor. Oh crap, Maestro! Not today, folks. Oh, he tried to. I'm gonna try and get you. Oh, maybe not. Crap, he got me again. Ah, oh, see, he's tired. That's why he's not getting up as quick. Because I'm doing some damage. Oh, maybe he's doing some damage to me. But then I DDT him, so we're all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. No, sir. No, sir. Backdrop suplex. All right, now we got to figure out how to There we go. One, two. So his is X by the legs. Oh, shit. Jump and spin kick again, you son of a bitch. Oh, but got him with the knee. Straight running knee. Oh, crap. He got me, got me, got me. One, two. Whew. See, you, you gotta freak out when you play this game. I love it. Oh, neck. Choke bomb. Oh, crap, he got me with the... Oh, no! He beat me! See? That's what I'm talking about. That's what happens. <laughs> he beat me. Holy shit. I was, ki I was hitting that damn controller, too. Alright, well there we go. 8 minutes 36 seconds. Katoro Suzuki with a backslide on Ethan Page. Gets him the victory. And uh, I believe we're going to have a, uh, a 6... I think the main event is actually going to be a 6 man tag title match. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that uh, right. Well, we'll do 3 more matches. We'll do a, a singles match, a tag match, and then the 6 man tag I guess. So, that sounds good to me.